Hello. Yes, hi. Good evening. Okay, how are you doing today? I'm fine. Okay, that's good to hear. All right, anyways, what did you do uh, for tonight? Um, I play football, I'm doing homework, I learn a lot. Okay. Oh, tonight you play football? Or just this um, morning? No. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Morning. Okay, I see. All right. So, anyways, um, how about the weather today? Is the weather fine? Yes, it is. Oh, I guess it's sunny. Is it sunny today? No. Oh, no. How is the weather like today? Oh. <laughs> yes. Is it, uh, uh, is it cloudy or is it cool? It's cool. It's cool. Oh, I see. But you still play football, even if it's cool. And you like it? Yeah. All right. I see. <laughs> okay. As long as you enjoy it, and that's important. Okay. Anyways, for today, let's go and learn uh, your book. So please wait. Let me share it with you. Okay, here it is. Can you see it now? Okay, yeah. yeah. So we're, we are going to talk about discovering museums. Okay, so have you tried going to a museum in your place or not yet? Not yet. Not yet, okay. But you have read in the book about museums. Am I right? You did? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's read about two museums and answer the question, which is the oldest thing in the text? Okay. But before that, let's read the two museums right there. Okay, the first one, what is this museum? Okay, please read. It's the? The National Museum of Anthropology yeah. in Mexico City has the largest collection in of ancient Mexican. Ancient Mexican. Ancient Mexican piece in the world in 23 galleries. Mm -hmm. The museum uses a site wonder who exhibits of Aztec culture. The Aztec land is central to Mexico and grew a great part of it in the 14th, 15th, and 16th. Century. One of the most famous exhibits in the museum is the sunstone, was the calendar of the Aztecs. Another important exhibit is the mass of the Zapotec, who lives in the south of Mexico, and its mass is about 2,000 years old. Wow. So it's very old, right? <laughs> Since it is 2,000 years old already. So this is the, uh, the sunstone that they're saying. Okay. And where can we find this sunstone? Uh, in the museum. Okay, what, which place is it? Mm 
It's outside. Uh, I mean, what country or, yeah. It's in? It sounds so different outside. Yes, okay. It's actually in the very uh, general one is in Mexico City. Yes. So in Mexico, there are a lot of collection about ancient. Yes. So it means they're very old um, exhibits and some um, some things, right? Uh, old things. Okay, next is letter B. Oh, I think this is familiar. Okay, what's this? The Egyptian Museum in Cairo is the most famous museum in Asia. It has a huge collection of more than 120,000 exhibits and the royal mummy room. This is 27 mummies. When an important person died in ancient Egypt, he was treated with body built chemicals and craft it in bandages. 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 The Egyptians also put food in jewels to the mummies to give a chance he was something to eat and wear in the next life. The most important exhibit. In the museum, it's a gold mask of the Egyptian king Tutankhamun, who lived about 2,700 years ago. That's right. Okay, so this is a, a photo taken in Egypt. Okay, so as you can see, it says here that they also exhibit some rooms for mummies. Oh, imagine that one. There are 27. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. And it's quite interesting, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, why do you think it's an important um, thing in ancient Egypt? to uh to make a mummy when the person died what do they do what will the egyptian do about it mm -hmm. about the mummies in the museum Treat the body with calculus and wrap it in bandages. Bandages. Bandage. Yes. So uh, they just have to wrap it with uh, some bandages around the body. And uh, you know what are mummies, right? As you can see, uh, mummies are wrapped with bandages. So that's why um, in a lot of movies, it was also uh, being taken, okay? So um, after they put the dead body, okay, and wrapped it in bandages, mm, why do they do that? Why do you think they do, they do that? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> okay, you don't know or you don't have any idea? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so maybe for me, maybe in their next life, um, they can also be like the bodies is just there. Yeah, in the next life. And their bodies is well structured and um, they even also wear jewelries yes <laughs> it's kind of like mm, weird <laughs> yeah okay so we have there the question among the two 
which one is the oldest? Um, Sorry? The Egyptian Museum. Oh, it's in the uh, Egyptian Museum in Cairo. It is correct. Yes, it's so old. It's 2,700 years ago. Yes. Okay, so now let's try to match the photos with the museums. Okay, so just write A or B. Okay, so number one. Okay, what is number one? Is it A or B? Um, B. Okay, that's right. So what is that? I think one. Okay, that's right. Number two. Is Correct. Okay, and three. Um, it's exactly. Okay. And four. Um, oh, yes. It's letter A. It's good. It's okay. Okay. So now we already know what are the two, uh, some old, um, yeah, some old museums in the countries. So let's do the next part, which is to complete the table about the museums on this page. Okay. So can you try to name of a museum? Can you still remember what is the name of a museum? That we have read no. letter A. No. Okay. No. All right. So please don't forget this is the National, National Museum of Anthropology. Anthropology, yes. Of Anthropology in Mexico City. Okay, so yes, that's the first one. And the second one is? The Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Correct, the Egyptian Museum. Okay, you can also write down some information so we could also put it in the box later. Okay, so let's do... Oh, the first one, letter A. It's the National Museum of Anthropology in Mexico City. Exactly, okay. And where's the location? As you were saying, it's in? It's in Mexico. Yes, Mexico City. And what are the famous collection which you can find there in Mexico? Um, it's Tasso. Okay, let's say. Yes. Sorry, you were saying it was sandstone. Okay, sandstone. Okay. Yeah. Any other things? The map of the Zapotecs. Oh, the mask of the Zapotecs. Okay. Mask of the Zapotecs. Okay, what else? Is that all? Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the Aztec culture? Mm 
Is it part of their collection? Yes, it is. Okay, it says here in the museum, you can also find wonderful exhibits of Aztec culture. So yes, it's a yes. Okay, so I'm gonna put here the information that you have gathered. Okay, please wait. Oh no, yes, there you go. Okay, sandstone, mask of the Zapotecs and the Aztec culture. Okay, there you go. Okay. Next, uh, has exhibits about this ancient culture. Okay, isn't it? What kind of exhibit of an ancient culture do they have? Okay, so as you were saying, isn't it the Aztecs or the Zapotecs? <clears throat> yes, it says the culture about this ancient culture. So it means it's the Aztec, correct. And which one is the famous exhibits which you can see there? In the National Museum of Anthropology. Um, Are you sure? Isn't it the sunstone? It's actually the sandstone because you can see it on outside the museum, yes, and it's very famous in there. Okay, so now let's try to go to letter B. Okay, the second one is what kind of exhibit was that or uh, museum? What's the name? Yes. Yeah, it is a museum in Cairo. Okay, so it's in Cairo. Oh. Okay. And um, what are the famous collection that we can find in there? Um, mummy. Mm. Yes, or we can also say the royal mummy. Royal mommy and has exhibits about this ancient culture. They exhibit uh, ancient culture, which is material. Mm, Mm -hmm. Okay, which is the most important exhibit in the museum? What is it? Yes, it's in there. Okay, it's the most important exhibit in the museum. Um, the pharaoh and the mummies. Oh, yes, correct. Okay, uh, the mummies and also uh, some gold mask of the Egyptian, okay? So we could say the gold mask of the Egyptian, okay? And lastly, what is the most famous exhibit? Okay, most famous exhibit. It's a gold mask. Okay, I think that's just the important one. Yes, but the most important one or the most famous one is the royal mummy. Yes, so many people knows about it already. So it's the most famous. Okay, so we have already filled the table about the museums, okay. Now, tell me, do you know a museum in 
any other countries or in your country? Do you know some? No. Okay. And uh, what about, have you read something in the book? So you haven't visited any museums in your town or any countries or... Yes. Oh, you haven't? Um, hmm. Okay, I see, I understand. Okay, so now let's just keep that part. Okay, so we have here acting out. Okay, let's act out that we are cats. Okay, so a visit from the cat. Okay, so we have your student A and student B. Okay, so which one do you like, student A or student B? You like B? <coughs> A? Okay, so you you are student A. Now you are the Egyptian cat statue from the story. And one night, your friend comes to see you at the museum. Now talk to him or her about, you just have to talk about your friends at the museum, Mr. Benson, what you do in the museum, and your favorite exhibits, okay? And since I'm student B, I am going to be... <laughs> Sorry? What cat? Yes, yes, yes. It's and a cat. I will, I'll say about Mr. Benson. Mm hmm. Is this right? Okay. So, for example, I'm going to be a uh, student B. So, one night I go to visit a friend at the museum and ask a question about her life there. Okay, so I'm going to tell about a friend at the museum and tell about Mr. Benson, tell you what she does and show you her favorite exhibits. Okay, so I just want to focus on student A since you are student A. Okay, so can you try to make a sentence? Oh, can you hear me? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes, thank you. So now you may start. Mm-hmm. You can just talk about um, him or her or a friend of yours. Just tell a story, a short story. Anything, for example, um, <coughs> I went to the museum last night to see uh, some beautiful uh, crafts or uh, things. And I met Mr. Benson, who's the owner of the museum. And I greeted him. Yes, so something like that. Okay, just tell me a short story. Yeah, anything. Yes. Yeah, you can do it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Anything about the story um, that you went to a museum? 
And what did you do? Sorry? Yes, can you say it again? What did you say? I think... I can. I can think. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I mean, can you tell a story about something? Like, for example, one night I went to the museum and saw a cat. Okay, it was a very mysterious cat. And when I roam around the museum, the cat wasn't there at all. And then when we tried to uh, find the cat, we can't, we couldn't find the cat. Yes, so something like that, just a short story of you telling <laughs> uh, about a cat or a, sorry, a museum. Yes, I know you can do it. Yes, you may start. Yes. Who are your friends at the museum? <laughs> okay, my best friends are my best friends are the queen. Okay. And next question is Is Mr. Benson nice? He is he is nice. Mm -hmm. And next, what do you? What do you do at the night? At night. Okay, at night, I. At night, I walk in the street. And, and Mr. Benson's museum. Okay, now next, show me your favorite exhibit. What is it? My, my favorite exhibit. Yes. It's a book. Oh, books. Uh, books about history, about animals. What kind of book is it? It's about geography. Mm. Okay, I guess you're interested about that, right? Okay. Well, all right. Anyways, thank you so much for your cooperation and for, um, yes, for answering the questions. So anyways, you did a great job today. So we'll just continue everything, okay, in our next class. So I think in our next, cl in our next class, we're going to do a new uh, lesson. Okay, so thank you so much and see you again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.